So now I think um, the more important part um, that concerns the extraterrestrial uh, civilizations. Most of you, you might know that first contact on world website and the message uh, to um, mankind uh, with 25 languages, we, we have that message available. You know, that is not, not important at all, whether six or seven uh, billion uh, uh, humans had uh, read that or had read that message, that is not important. It's important that we started to uh, communicate that information. And uh, there is one part in that huge message, um, which is the key. And that is, um, uh, that is so important you cannot imagine. Here, there is the statement by our uh, star sisters and brothers. So we are offering you to make contact with us. So that is the first time ever our extraterrestrial friends and sisters and brothers offered that publicly to uh, the human race. And um, now you can imagine what our task is if we talk about telepathy centers. And um, let's, let's start with, with a very, very far view of our universe. And uh, we start here with a picture which was created by the Hubble uh, telescope. And that is an ultra deep field uh, picture, which don't show stars in our Milky Way. It shows uh, nebulas or galaxies. So this um, the bright points here are, are, are yeah, this uh, aspects here with the color orange or white or whatever are galaxies. And what they told us, um, our extraterrestrial friends in the preparation of that time after the 21st of June is, um, what, what, what is the home of all the extraterrestrials contacting us at the moment? And you can see here on the top that um, we have more than 23,000 members of, um, of uh, different species uh, in our universe who are joined um, an organization which has the character of a federal organization. So federal means that uh, all the species, all the civilizations are independent in living, but they are all um, going for one common goal in that federal organization. Um, that is um, the aspect here, service to others. They live based on the principle service to others in that organization in our cosmos. More than 23,000 members. And the interesting thing is, I will uh, explain a little bit later uh, how many are around us here at the moment, here around our solar system and, and our uh, Earth. The interesting thing is that we also have um, 54 uh, um, species coming from another universe. Uh, and they joined also uh, parts of that organization for that big project, uh, Gaia Ascension, if you like, to describe it uh, with that name. So more than 23,000 members. And now if we go a little bit more to our Milky Way galaxy, uh, that is uh, one uh, picture, one image of uh, a view to our Milky Way galaxy. Then um, we see the following. We see that yellow triangle here in one of our Milky Way galaxy R with, with that name Sun. That is the symbol where our sun is located in our Milky Way galaxy. And that yellow triangle is the view of the Kepler search uh, space, unit, space unit um, uh, in, investigates to, to get an impression how many possible areas of Earth similar planets um, are uh, available or are existing here in that, in that arm of our Milky Way galaxy and you see that arm has a name as all the others they also have a name called Perseus arm or Sagittarius arm or Orion arm 
And if you look to that here, uh, you might remember that in May this year that the uh, NASA has uh, made a big announcement that they, they have, if I'm right, more than 1,300 new exoplanets discovered. But uh, all those uh, exoplanets are part of that uh, you know, triangle. Back to the 23,000 members in the federal organization. Out of this 23,000 organizations, uh, members of the organization, are here in that area supporting us more than 4,000 species. And I come back a little bit later to, to the background of, of, uh, of, of that information and what uh, is behind that. Why, why are so many species here um, in our area here in the Milky Way galaxy? If we dive in, then we see a, a different view to our Milky Way galaxy. And you again see here the Orion arm or Orion spur and here the location of our sun with the central core of our Milky Way galaxy. And here you see Milky Way, more than 1,000 members. That means that out of this 23,000 members and out of the four and, and, and a few a thousand members, 1,000 or a little bit more than 1,000 members of that federal organization who live together in peace and harmony are coming from our own Milky Way galaxy. So approximately 1,000 uh, species, extraterrestrial species, are supporting us uh, during that uh, wonderful, great project. And here is a little bit different view. And you see here a little bit better uh, outlined our, um, our Orion arm, or Orion spore, and here with the location of our solar system here in that spore. And you see that out of the Orion spore or arm, we have more than 200 extraterrestrial civilizations, part of that universal federal organization, uh, accompanying us uh, in that wonderful project. Then we go a step further, uh, that is uh, zoom in in uh, the Orion arm here in the Milky Way galaxy, and we see um, names like uh, the Rachel or Betelgeuse and, and then the name Orion spelled, and again we have the name Sun. And that is very important. Uh, you all might know that wonderful um, uh, structure here in the, in the winter, winter sky, in the night, the, the Orion. And uh, if you look, the distance between our sun and uh, the Orion's belt and uh, some of the here are Betelgeuse, this one here, the, the yellow red one, Betelgeuse is located here. If you look to the Orion arm, you see that we uh, are very, very close together. It's not a far distance uh, within our Milky Way galaxy. It's very close to us. So basically, uh, we are neighbors. And that uh, is very important if we come uh, to, to the next two slides, because we have on the other side here on, on another view to the Orion arm. And we see our sun, and here is narrow uh, showing the uh, M45 uh, star cluster uh, called Pleiades. And if you look to, to that location, also the Pleiades are very, very close to us, to our solar system. And here again, the uh, Orion Nebula, for example. So if, if you make, make a circle around that area, you can recognize that um, many of our uh, extraterrestrial contacts um, we might already have in the Pleiades. Uh, bitte diese Person, uh, uh, please uh, mute your microphone. We have the keyboard clicking. Thank you. And we uh, see here that um, we are really neighbors, and basically that is the reason um, we are in so close contact with the Syrians, with the Pleiades, with the Andromedians. Here is uh, another view where we see the stars 
um, in the distance um, uh, what, uh, in, in our area. The series, for example, is here very close to our sun. You see the Aldebaran here is also very close. The Arctos, very important in the current time, uh, very, very strong contacts we have. And um, we are uh, approximately, we have around five major um, uh, contact species at, at the moment uh, who are in a very close communication with us. But we have also in that, um, if you look to that picture, we have other species like that, uh, formal hot, uh, this star here. No, no sorry, uh, this star here. Uh, who is also part of that project to, to give just another example. But they, uh, their task is more to communicate within that project with, uh, with the Syrians and all the other 4,000 species because they are very, very talented uh, and they have a huge knowledge in psychology, for example. So uh, this um, project is basically divided in uh, species who are um, in close contact with us. And then there are spaces who are working in the background, doing logistic parts and energy parts and this kind of things, to name a few, uh, who are, are not so much known to us. And uh, you will uh, work in the, in the near future with many, many new species uh, if you just start now uh, to have contact with this kind of extraterrestrials. So, um, you, you see, we have uh, a huge civilization uh, group, we can, um, we can say. And the question uh, which might raise is the following. What is the reason they come to us? What, what is the reason that many, many thousand different species come to us in our Milky Way, in our solar system, or in, in that uh, space area? to support us. What, what is the important point behind that? And that has something to do with uh, two things, basically. And I, I will uh, touch that second thing more deeply tomorrow, if it comes to the creation part, to the creator. Uh, the third thing is that basically there is one requirement um, which um, must be fulfilled before the 23,000 members uh, start to get in contact with a new species or new civilization. That is a very, very important requirement. If that is not fulfilled, they don't, uh, will don't do that. And that requirement is that a civilization must start it to open their, to describe it in, in a well-known picture, they must start it to open their heart chakra. They must started to must have started to going to the path of love, and that is a very important requirement. If that is not fulfilled, they won't get in touch or in contact with them. They leave that uh, civilization alone um, until um, um, a future time is come and that has changed. The important thing is that it's not not necessary that. Uh, each, uh, mem uh, each uh, part or member of that species has opened his heart chakra or is going the way to love. It's um, uh, only necessary that a few have opened their heart chakra. That is the, the major uh, requirement. And now, if that requirement is fulfilled, then there are two possibilities. The first possibility is that the whole civilization, the whole new civilization has completely opened their heart chakra and following and, and follow the path of love. And the second point is, if there are uh, not, um, not everybody uh, in that civilization or in that species has opened uh, his heart chakra, then there must be fulfilled the following. For that full, uh, civilization, um, uh, is uh, that civilization will um, will have an, a certain event. There will uh, be a, a very huge, important change for that civilization, for that planet system, for that civilization. So, if 
there is a change for that civilization planned, then they will get in contact with that civilization. And if you look around to your families, friends, and to your job, and, and, and uh, all the people around the world, you can very much imagine that not the first possibility fits to that requirements. It's the, the, uh, the second possibility that there is a huge change for that civilization coming. And that is the reason uh, all those 4,000 and uh, a little bit more are accompanying us and uh, helping us to move that step in that new era. And um, that is the point now where we can go to the next important thing, uh, to the telepathy center network or to the telepathy centers.